Hey, welcome YouTube, Jason Ramos here with DayTrainFearless.com. Hey, so today's tip and trick is online trading for beginners. Now, maybe you're watching this, maybe you're brand new, maybe you've been doing it for a while, maybe you're kind of right in between, right? So this video is hopefully going to hit everybody across, even though it is for beginners, okay? We all need to start somewhere, but maybe depending on the training you got um, or you've tried to do this on your own, okay, and you're trying to learn this whole thing, maybe just maybe you might get a nugget or two of golden information that you'll use for the next 10, 20, 30, 40 years, okay? I've been doing this for 15 years personally, and there are things that have stuck with me. Just one thing, one little nugget that stuck with me from 10 years ago, from five years ago, hopefully this video will do that for you. Okay, so let's uh, kind of dive in and see exactly what's gonna, what we're going to talk about today. So in today in today's video, we're going to discuss what every online trader beginner must know when trading stocks online. Okay, I don't know if that makes sense because as I read it, it's not making sense to me but trust me we will make this make sense um online training for beginner pitfalls online trading for beginners terms to know such as long short bullish bearish fundamental analysis technical analysis margin calls and brokerage accounts okay um kind of what everything is so let's dive right into it so first thing what every online trader beginner must know when trading online stocks okay first thing is you can lose a lot of money but on the flip side you can also make a lot of money real quick one of my very first trades i'll never forget this i was a uh, trading with uh scott trade i just the job i was living in vegas at the time and somebody told me about the stock market and i was making a lot of money back then i was probably pulling in a couple of grand a weekend and one of the things was it kind of got my curiosity so i had a ton of money in the bank didn't know what to do go and so i start reading a couple books and all that go to a bookstore literally that next day okay and start reading and read uh, How a uh, Day Trade for a Living, I think it was, by Tony Turner, and it ignited that fuel in me, okay? Here's the thing, is it doesn't tell you, and you don't learn this until you've actually gone through it, and hopefully by me telling you this, it'll help you, okay? I sat there and put 30,000 cash into a stock trade account. They go, hey, guess what? You get four to one leverage intraday trading. I'm sitting there going, uh, so you're giving me $120,000 to buy worth of stock. They're like, yep. And I'm like, awesome. <laughs> what could go wrong, right? So I go on uh, to CNBC. Uh, back then look at like the five dollar and less stocks and I remember it was seven bucks for all you could trade stock so I go hey let's go buy a four dollar stock five dollar stock with a hundred and thirty thousand dollars right um I think I I don't even remember what the share account was but I remember I maxed out the entire thing okay I remember buying it and all of a sudden the stocks start going up and up and up. And, and I think it only moved like 20 cents or something. And next thing I knew, it did, after about three or four minutes, I made, I made about 3,000 bucks. What did I do? I couldn't help hit the sell button quick enough, okay? So I, do, so I hit, I sell it all. I think I'm on top of the world, right? I think I know everything. I've conquered this, right? I've read probably two or three books at this time, watched the markets for a little bit. Don't even know how the platform works, right? And so literally I sit 
back. I'm happy. I'm I'm already thinking about the toys I'm getting by, whatever, right? I then think I know everything and I go and buy the stock again. Okay. Well, this time, in about half the time, the stock goes against me. It starts to pull back. I panic. By the time the dust clears, right, and I hit the cell and all that because I'm like, oh my God, wait, I'm just looking at my P&L, not the charts or anything like that because what do I know? And I'm down 3000 bucks. okay? So from that point, from literally from that point, I'm like, hey, I need to learn what's going on. I need to figure this out, okay? Because I don't like the highs and the lows. And trust me, you will have a ton of highs and lows, but it was, thank God, I was disciplined at that early stage where I made a lot of money really quick and then I lost it and net net, I was kind of break even. I learned so much from that one trade and 15 years later, here I am talking to you, helping you not to go through those same pitfalls that I went through. So going back, yes, you can make a lot of money. You can lose a lot of money very quickly. Okay. Stay small. If you're new, if you're a beginner, even if you're intermediate, stay small, have a trade plan. Okay. Number one goal, have a trade plan. Okay. Like they say, uh, trade the plan or uh, plan the trade and trade the plan. Okay. And it is so true. Have an entry, have an exact stop, have an exact take profit and don't ever move them because you think you're smarter than the market and the markets can do this or that. Don't do it. Okay. So I hope that helps. Um, I'm getting kind of tied both of those in. What what to know when trading stocks online? It, it happens very quickly, right? It, you can make money, and it's literally a click of the mouse here and there to either get in or out of a stock. But you can make a lot of money or lose a lot of money if you're on the wrong side of the trade, right? Um, as for pitfalls, you just kind of heard one of the pitfalls. Don't get into the habit of you know everything because you had one really good trade. That never works, okay? Almost be like a robot. If you make money, cool. If you lose money, hey, it's okay. It's part of the game, okay? Hopefully that's the one nugget you take from this uh, video, right? Don't, don't let the emotions become a roller coaster, right? Keep everything even keel. If you win, hey, if you lose, hey, it's part of the game. There's always tomorrow and protect your trading capital. So now let's get on to online trading for beginner terms to know what's long. Long is when you go long a stock or option futures, Forex, binary options, whatever market you're trading. When you're long, usually you want the price to move up. Short, when short is when you borrow stock, okay, that you don't own and you want the price to move lower, okay? So you either be long stock or short stock or flat. Flat means you don't have a position, okay? Very simple, very basic. Bullish. Bullish is um, the same thing. You, you, you think the markets can go higher, okay? You're bullish. Think of a bull, okay? They charge with their horns and then they go up, okay? That's where the bullish comes from. And then bearish is the bear, right? He's going to jump on you and then come down on you. Markets going down, that's bearish, Fundamental analysis. Fundamental analysis is anything to do with uh, earnings, uh, price to ratio, things like that, right? The outlook is the company making money. Are they losing money? Usually uh, when you're tr looking in the fundamentals, you're more long-term trading, okay? 
Think of it as you're trying to turn or steer a big cruise ship, okay? It's going to change. It doesn't change very quickly unless there's something fundamentally wrong with the company, right? But if you look at it, it's kind of like right now in 2017, the whole retail sector is fundamentally broken, right? People are buying on Amazon. They're buying more online and aren't going to the stores, but it doesn't happen overnight. It's taken a long time. So what happens is the fundamentals are showing a decline over multiple quarters, okay, of price declining. And then, so everybody who's kind of in the fundamental camp and that's all they care about, they're kind of late to selling their stock, right? It's, it's kind of like, okay, hey, this ain't working out. Technical analysis is anything to do with the charts, right? Looking for patterns, uh, head and shoulders, channels, uh, double tops, double bottoms, okay? Though that's all technical analysis, usually day traders and swing traders up to about three months is what uh, technical analysis people really look at. Um, you could look at one of my uh, other videos. It's a technical analysis versus fundamental, and I dive deeper into that. And then now uh, we have margin calls in your brokerage account. I'm going to tie these two together. Brokerage account in the simplest form is you deposit money to the brokerage account. They play the middleman between you and the exchanges to buy and sell. Okay, so what happens is you go to the brokerage account, call them up or whatever, you ACH the money from your, your bank account to theirs. They hold the funds, okay, with the clearing firm. A clearing firm is actually the ones who hold the fund. The funds, you're just kind of, they're just playing the middleman, right? And then every time you want to execute a stock trade, all you do is you go through the brokerage accounts trading platform, they execute the trade, they let the clearing firm know, okay, hey, they bought this, and the clearing firm's the one who holds all the stock and all that. And then when you want to withdraw your funds, you withdraw them from your brokerage account. Very simple. Okay. Now margin calls is when you uh, go have below 25,000 in your trading account. Okay. And you do uh, what's called uh, the pattern day trade rule. If you make more than three day trades within the five rolling day business period, that's illegal. You can't do that. You have to have over 25,000. But again, I also did a video on that. So make sure Go check out my other videos. I hope this helps. I hope you got some value from this. Um, if you want more information, look down below. Okay, I have a link to my website. I give support and resistant trade levels uh, there uh, for multiple stocks and futures. Also, I have recommended trading brokers and also uh recommended uh, trading books if you're new or you're trying to kind of learn all about this trading and make sure most important you subscribe and like to my channel. I'd appreciate that. And until the next uh, video with our tips and tricks, and we're coming out with a whole bunch, uh, make sure you uh, subscribe and turn on the bell notification. Thank you and we'll see you next time.